Hey guys, SK here, back with another Clash Royale video, and today is my birthday. I am 21 today, February 28th, and it honestly feels very weird to say. I've already tried recording this intro quite a few times, but it just feels a bit weird. But yeah, I am 21. I don't really feel any different, uh, but I've had a pretty relaxed day today so far. Uh, so I celebrated with my friends from the military yesterday. Uh, they When I had lunch with one of my best friends and then a few other friends along with him came over to my house and we just had a great time played some smash mario kart and mario party on the switch and just talked about stuff um and yeah i had a lot of fun i couldn't celebrate with them today because uh i finished military service last year they're still in uh camp they still work there right now a lot of them finish in a few months so they still had to go in today didn't want to make them come over today after a long day of work and uh, so yeah, today I just celebrated with my family, uh, just a relaxed day today um, with my parents, my grandma's also over visiting, and my dog, and I had a really nice cake, and I had some pizza, other than that I didn't really do much, just watched some videos, uh, relaxed, yeah, very nice, uh, but last year I did make a video of a 12 win classic challenge on my birthday, and that was, um, I think I live streamed it on either YouTube or Twitch, and posted it on here. Unfortunately, I'm not live streaming now, but I do also want to start live streaming again, uh, possibly in the next month or so. It's just, I don't have the setup for it. I need my PC to be fixed. It's kind of broken right now. Uh, and I can't really stream from my phone because of the load. It kind of lags everything. And yeah, it's just a bit difficult, but um, I decided, I guess, why not make another video? And also, um, I just wanted to say thank you guys all so much for being, YouTube has been a pretty big part of my life. Also, this is like a bit, uh, disorganized because I don't really script any of my videos and I'm just like thinking of thoughts right away so apologize uh, for the disorganization of my intro but yeah you guys YouTube has been a big part of my life um, especially in the last year or so things were very different a year ago from today in my life in general but um, a lot has changed a lot is the same but I still really enjoy making YouTube content really it's really fulfilling for me and I have a lot of fun so thank you guys so much for being a big part of my life I really appreciate it getting a bit emotional now uh, but yeah thank you all so much and thank you guys for all the birthday wishes in my discord server and all of that I'm really grateful for you guys thanks for being a big part uh, of what I get to do and I get to have fun it's not like I'm making this my career or anything but I just really appreciate uh, everyone who watches my videos and I just post for fun and to get better at the game and help you guys get better at the game and so I'm glad I can help but yeah so we're going to be doing a classic challenge um, it's also pretty easy and stress-free considering it's just a classic challenge I could do like a grand challenge you know but um, it's not that easy to play while commentating live as in it's not easy to play well and commentate well while playing live and also just I did a classic challenge video last year so I guess why not do the same thing um but yeah, we're going to be playing with 3.0 Expo Cycle with Ice Spirit. So, Electro Spirit is better than Ice Spirit right now. Uh, there it is. In the meta, I say this all the time. And Archer Queen is better than Archer. So, for everyone who's going to ask what's better, there are your answers. But this is the OG deck, you guys all know. Um, and it's been tried and true for at least a year. Probably, I think, more than a year. I believe it was when COVID happened in uh, 2020 when... Uh, Expo switched over to Knight from Ice Golem around the August, uh, sorry, April or so, or March, that, that meta, when Earthquake is also becoming a thing, and I remember all the 2.9 Expo players had to spell cycle out Hog Earthquake, and they, they would win that way, uh, but then we switched to Knight for all the RG decks, and we just stuck with Knight ever since, and that's kind of ha how the deck has evolved, um, but yeah, I'm going to be playing through Expo Cycle with Ice Spirit, and yeah, just going to be a very uh, casual, laid-back video today. Uh, just personal video, special video. Um, so I do apologize for the long intro. Uh, just a very personal thing. But yeah, I did want to make a video. YouTube has been a big part of my life. And uh, also, I did it last year, so I guess why not do it again? But we are going to be playing through Panaxpo Cycle with Ice Spirit. We'll be commentating over the games, trying to explain my thought process. And uh, let's hope we can get some good matches. I was playing a classic challenge earlier. Um... And I did lose with Ice Spirit against a really hard, I think it was a Skeleton King matchup, but I still got the 12 win, but I had to switch uh, over. But uh, yeah, we're going to be playing 
here I've already started some matches. I'm 7-0. This is very disorganized and it's already five minutes since the video, but if you're still watching, thank you guys so much. I, I know I keep saying this, but I don't know. Okay, let's just get started and get into the matches. Um, Alright, and we found our first match against Squanch from Turkey, or I don't know how to pronounce it. We'll give him the good luck back. And we're going to cycle an Ice Spirit at the start, so very uh, passive. And okay, speaking of very passive, that is the exact opposite. Right, my opponent goes for an Elixir Golem to block right away. And okay, I can't really go for Archers because he has Golden Knight, Dash, and Firecracker. I'm actually going to Fireball the Firecracker because that's going to be pretty problematic. Um, and I'm going to log the Princess. Hopefully I can keep my knight alive. Okay, great, I can, even though it's on 1 HP. So usually I would want to save log for the Elixir Golem. Um, quite a birthday present, I guess, getting Eagle on first play. No, I'm just joking, I'm not mad about it. Uh, but healer comes down, I'm going to catch the barbell with my knight. Um, and knight will also protect the healer. I wish I could have played my knight a bit later so that the heal healer would get targeted on my side of the map. But I think I had to catch the barbell, so this is the best case. And we do get a connection already, so... Um, very weird eagle. Okay, my opponent's making a huge misplay right now. I think he's at zero elixir, because he played that pretty late. Just gonna go skeletons, um, and then log these blobs. Also gonna hit the princess with my log, trying to get maximum value. And my opponent's basically gonna be at zero elixir right now. I have a big counter push. I think he already lost. Yeah, he doesn't have enough for a golden knight right now. And if he does, okay, he just has enough for healer now. I can just block with a knight, and as you can see, I'm still at four elixir. So I'm up, like, seven elixir. Okay, I was looking away for a bit, but... So I didn't catch the bar barrel uh, on time, but we still took the entire tower, and uh, yeah, I don't know what, what emote to give, but yeah, I don't know, like, Elixir Golem is the kind of deck where you ha really have to be patient, like, Elixir Golem is hated on, for sure, but uh, I don't know, like, when you play like this, you just give your opponent, like, he just gave me four Elixir, basically, it was pretty easy to counter push, also I wanted to say, yeah, like, the fundamentals are... Uh, you know, fireball the eagle and blobs, second stage blobs, log the blobs when they're about to go into the third stage. But my opponent just kind of, like, played firecracker princess. I wanted to fireball and log them to get them out of the way so I could have my defense to survive. And we are going to get... I think he gave up, so I'm just going to try and three-crown him over here real quick. Um, but, yeah, interesting first matchup, I guess. I guess I'll take it because... I don't think my opponent had arrows. Usually Eagle decks these days have e barbs, Rage, or there's the Barb Hut version. So yeah, interesting Eagle Index in the meta right now. Um, but that's just going to be a three crown, I guess. Let's see what his full deck was because he gave up. Okay, it's, and <laughs> of course he had Mega Knight. I'm not super surprised. Nothing against him though, just a funny deck. And yeah, this kind of deck Expo just rolls over because... Uh, like, I, I'm sure a lot of you guys would have trouble with this deck, um, but basically, you just want to punish them. And, like, they he went for Eagle on first play, so there's no point going for an Expo when they go Eagle. I'm just defend and counter push, because if you go Expo, Eagle is only three Elixir, so you can't actually punish an Eagle right away. You have to punish it afterwards. So that's what I did there, and Mega Knight didn't even come down. Uh, my opponent was just low on Elixir the whole match, so yeah, really funny and uh, straightforward first match, I guess. Into the next match against OMG, it's Tomer. We'll give him the good luck. And uh, cycle skeletons in the back. Ice Beard at the bridge. And we see a log, so could be log skeletons, could be another cycle deck. Let's hope it's not going to be something like Royal Hogs Earthquake. Um, cannon comes down and it very much could be Royal Hogs Earthquake. Could also just be 2.6. Hog Rider, we'll see. I'm holding on to my Tesla right now because if he goes for a hog, Okay, and it's going to be Royal Hogs, unfortunately for me. So, not a matchup I'm very happy to see. I'm going to be honest, you might be able to tell by my voice. But, yeah, he cycles a delivery in the back, which is a bit weird, I guess. And he's going to have a Musketeer, so... Musketeer instead of Archer Queen. I am confused. I will take it. I prefer Musketeer over Archer Queen any day, because Archer Queen has a three-card uh, cycle, which means they can just cycle Earthquakes the entire day. And, yeah, I'm going to go for a Tesla now. Let's see if we can bait out an Earthquake, and we do. And, actually, that might not even be considered baiting out an Earthquake. Okay, and I should have Ice Spirit on the right there. But, Earthquake was still baited out, even though we took some damage. We are going to counter push now. We have a full Knight counter pushing. My opponent is probably going to predict this, and probably just cycle back to an Earthquake with ease. Um, we're going to go for Archers. I don't think he can afford Earthquake right away. So, yeah, he's. I think he's back to Earthquake now. I'm going to hover Skeletons in case Fire Spirit comes down. I think he's... There's a the Fire Spirit, so that's why I hovered Skeletons. Notice how I played it very far away, because Fire Spirit's uh, 
jump radius is very like very sorry not jump radius the explosion radius is very w large and wide so um you don't want to play your skeletons too close and i'm not sure what the perfect placement is but that did well enough and we got a huge connection so basically i went for a low tesla to bait out the earthquake i'm uh, gonna go for one again this time it wasn't to bait anything out it's just because i had slow reaction time um so i'm gonna take some damage for that unfortunately uh but the anti-tesla placement is one tile down from the river i'll show that to you guys but yeah, I'm not going to expo here, notice that, because I knew he was going to uh, probably predict it. And also, this is his weaker, this is my weaker tower now. I want to get damage in the right, but against an Earthquake deck, and okay, he's just going to let that connect for some reason. Against an Earthquake deck, you don't want to be um, giving them value in the same lane. So now I'm going to be going for expos a lot in the other lane. I'm going to go for another expo, and if he goes for Royal Hogs, I will fireball them, most likely. Actually, I'm just going to log them, because... Uh, He's probably gonna, yeah, he's gonna Earthquake anyways, and I'm gonna Fireball Tower now. Not sure if this is the best game plan, but basically, I want to pressure in the left, not the right. I, wa I, I want to pressure, okay, this is hard. I want to pressure in the right, um, and my opponent does Earthquake. I'm gonna wait till the Earthquake finishes off, then go for Skeletons, and my opponent does Log, so I'm gonna, this is actually looking not so good, because I'm taking a bunch of damage. I'm gonna have to start pressuring more with opposite lane stuff. I really don't want to choke this match, that would suck. Um, earthquake forced out. I'm gonna be pressuring pretty hard, I think. I want... I'm basically forcing out Earthquakes in the left. I don't think Fireball Cycling is the play. I Fireballed earlier. Don't think that's very good. So I'm just gonna pre-Tesla here. Um, and he's gonna go Royal Hogs. And let's see if he does anything else. Nope, just lets it go. So I'm gonna go for an Expo. Not going for Expos. And he wastes Earthquake. Okay, great. So this is my big opportunity to go in. He just wasted Earthquake and goes for a High Cannon. And Expos on Tower. I think that's gonna be GG. Gonna, uh... Okay, that was a misclick. That was... Oh my god, that was meant to be my uh, skeletons or log, one of the two. But his tower is very low, so I'm just gonna chill out, go for an anti-Earthquake Tesla, even though he's not gonna be back to Earthquake. I, I don't need to log on offense because his tower is gonna be low enough. Now I'm gonna fireball. So that was a pretty stressful match, even though not really, but um, I was worried about choking it. But yeah, basically you never want to go same lane in this matchup, even though I had about 800 damage. Uh, of a lead there, you can't really go same lane because they would just get earthquake value on your expo and tower and catch up. So I basically went opposite lane to pressure. Um, my friend is giving me a friendly battle, but I'm I just want to finish this video. So, but yeah, also uh, this person had musketeer instead of archer queen for some reason. No, I've actually never seen this version in my entire life, so I'm not sure why he did that. In this matchup, I guess ice spirit's better than electric spirit because. It froze stuff for a bit longer, and there wasn't too much you needed to chain to. Um, I guess Royal Hogs, but yeah, that's not a very uh, great matchup, I would say. Uh, so let's move on um, into the next match against Ben's 55 from Steg. So probably just going to cycle Log first play. See what he wants to do. See what he's going to be running. He goes for... Wow. Okay, so Guards Balloon at the bridge first play. Gonna go archers to the left, Tesla to the right. Notice how I'm separating my troops. Um, so if he had arrows, he wouldn't have been able to hit my Tesla and my archers. Uh, or fireball. That's why I went for archers all the way in the left and Tesla towards the middle. And so guards balloon makes me think it's gonna... Okay, and he, it is gonna be Lava Hound. Gonna go for an expo. And I guess hover skeletons for the Inferno Dragon. Um, but I'm not, I'm not even sure if I should because I, I need archers back in cycle. I, need, I guess I need to cycle my skeleton somehow. I want to get back to archers and... Okay, Mega Minion. Gonna go skeletons for the Mega. And looks like I did catch it perfectly. Um, to keep the expo alive. Gonna go for archers again. A bit lower back here. And let's see if skelly drags come down. They do, so I was very ready for that. I I'm gonna fireball instantly. And arrows comes down now. But I am perfectly fine. Just gonna... not. Okay, I wasn't gonna Tesla because... Um, I knew Balloon was coming down. Now Balloon comes down, so I'm going to go Ice Spirit to Freeze, and then I'm going to cycle back to Archers. I probably don't need these Archers, but uh, yeah, I feel good about them now because my opponent was pressuring more, and I didn't want to risk anything, so I think they were good Archers. The one downside is I won't have Archers in cycle for his next push, but we took most of his tower. We defended uh, just fine. Against He does have arrows as well, so he has arrows for our Archers, not a super easy defense. Also haven't seen Inferno Dragon come down yet. I think I'm just going to cycle Log. I don't really want to Expo. I think if I Expo, I'll probably go on the right this time. He goes for Lava. Okay, going to Expo on the right. And I don't think he does have a Inferno Dragon because he already revealed um, 
Mega Minion, gonna fireball the Skelly Drags. Little slow on the reaction time, looks like it was fine though. Um, and I'm probably gonna be fine tower trading here actually. Let's see. If Balloon comes down, okay, Mega Minion comes down, what I'm gonna do is use play tiles like this and take out the Mega Minion first. Then, okay, and he has Lightning. Uh, so, gonna Ice Spirit, Knight, and I think he's back to arrows. So I'm gonna Tesla and uh, fireball everything after the Lava Puffs pop. So try and hit as much as I can. And okay, that was, I missed the balloon. That was my bad, but I was used to the old balloon, just like the old balloon damage one-shotting the Tesla. Um, for those of you that remember, and he's, okay, he's gonna try and uh, push. I'm not gonna let him because he has lightning. So I basically don't want to let him uh, take my tower. I want to force the lightning out. And yeah, so he's forced to lightning now. He, okay, given the fact that he just used lightning, I probably should have gone for Tesla a bit more off to the side. But I'm just going to fireball this. I know I could just fireball tower and win, but just going to play it extremely safe. Now cycle back to another fireball. And that's going to be a nice win against Lava Loon, Minor, sorry, no Minor, Lava Loon, Lightning Arrow. So uh, pretty difficult matchup, I guess. But the thing about Lightning and Lava Loon decks is that it's so expensive. Uh, as opposed to something like a fireball. So over here, yeah, this is like the classic Lava Loon deck, except instead of Fireball Zap, he has Lightning Arrows. And so, like, I don't want to say anything about him as a player or about the deck, but my personal opinion, like, it's not very hard to just go Lava in the back, Balloon behind, and then Lightning or Arrows, whatever they play. Uh, but also, it, that version does come with its downsides. Like, he went for Lava... Um, skelly drags and then he just didn't have enough elixir to play the lightning so lightning is really only great in double and triple elixir if you can get good momentum in single and earlier should be in a good spot against this match even though it looks like a pretty hard matchup because you know they have lightning for your tesla they have arrows for your archers it is winnable um, and i was perfectly fine tower trading uh, since he had to commit to my expo and then i basically sacked or basically sacked my left side tower um and got a good position from there. So, 10-0, let's keep it going. In that matchup, I would say Ice Spirit's probably better than Left Spirit as well, just because of the stun. So getting pretty lucky with matchups in terms of Ice Spirit, but not in terms of matchups itself themselves. Now, another Fire Spirit looking like it is going to be Royal Hogs again, so I don't know why the game hates me. Uh, but we're going to Fireball Ice Spirit, the Royal Hogs. I didn't, honestly, I don't have a great reason for not going Tesla. I just didn't feel like it, I guess. Uh, so I just fireballed instead. He's gonna Earthquake Cycle. Um, so I want to Expo, but I don't think it'll do much. I guess I'll try, because he just wasted Earthquake. And I'm gonna go Skeletons to predict. He goes Archer Queen. Gonna go Knight. Uh, he's most likely gonna pop the ability. So I'm gonna go try and go Archers in time. And I do actually get them down in time. Perfect. So now I'm gonna have to go Ice Spirit to predict the Fire Spirit. And Fire Spirit does not come down. Okay, so we get a big connection. But the downside is we are down Elixir. I would say we're probably down at least one here. Because uh, I, I don't have an exact guess, but I just know we spent a lot on that push. And I got a nice lead, but uh, going to have to focus on defense now. So Hovering Tesla, Anti-Lightning Placement. Going to go for a log. Try and clip the Fire Spirit as well. Okay, looks like it was pushed out of range, unfortunately, but just able to do it. And my opponent's going to be pretty decent at the game, actually, because he knew I was going for an Anti-Lightning Tesla. He pushed in the middle instead of onto the side. Uh, so he knows what he's doing. This is going to be tricky. Um, and he cy okay, wow, he cycles Earthquake again. It's just ridiculous how they can do that. But I'm going to try and punish with another Expo. Go Predictive Knight for the cannon again. Cannon comes down. And let's see, I think he's going to cycle back to another Earthquake. Okay, no, he's back to another set of Royal Hogs instead. Just going to go Ice Spirit Log. And oh my god, Knight surviving on 1 HP is huge. Look at that Knight just putting in so much work. Going to go Fire Spirit to predict. Uh, sorry, Skeletons to predict the Fire Spirit. I'm pretty tired, it's late in the evening. And what the... Okay, he's going Fire Spirit Earthquake at the bridge. Um, I think that warrants a wow. I don't know. Like, maybe I gave him too much credit. He's just getting very desperate for damage at this point. Gonna go for a pre-Tesla. And let's see what he chooses to do. And if he doesn't do anything, I'm just gonna go for an Expo because he just wasted Earthquake and I have a Tesla on the field. Goes for a Queen. Um... And if he pops Queen Ability, that's the... Yep, he messed up. That's the the one downside of Queen Ability in this matchup. Even though... Um, in any Queen matchup, I guess, against Expo. Even though it's so bad for Expo because they can just cycle Earthquakes and uh, have a three-card cycle. It also means that if they mess up on defense, they're not the best player on defense. 
and you uh, get an expo if they pop the queen ability and don't have anything else tanking for it they are gonna get the expo targeted on the tower uh, I'm saying things in a very weird way I feel like but yeah that's gonna be game I'm just I don't know just like messing around here but yeah like I don't know like I played against Rail Hogs Earthquake twice already I'm just trying to have fun with a video a bit unfortunate that we are getting these matchups, but I guess our opponents are not playing very well, so... Uh, yeah, two wins against Earth the Royal Hogs Earthquake. This one had Musketeer for some reason. This one, this person just... He played well in some parts, but he just cycled Earthquakes and didn't punish me correctly. I think what he should have done was cycle lower cannons where I couldn't just target them with my archers and knight, and then cycle back to Earthquakes, and, like, there's really nothing I can do. It's such a bad matchup. But he played it incorrectly. So you were able to walk away with the win. And this matchup as well. E Golem was just honestly a relaxing break from all of this stuff. But we are 11 0. Let's go for the final match and see if we can get a nice 12 0. Or if we'll lose and maybe go 11 3. I don't know. Let's find out. So, Q time taking a bit longer here. There we go. Final match against Chaspa. Give him the good luck for the 12 win match. He might be at 12 wins. I think matchmaking is like 9 to 11. You can match if you're at 12. Or sorry, if you're at 11 yourself. Gonna cycle log. He goes for Zap. I think I will just Knight. Uh, Zap could be a bunch of things. Could be P.E.K.K.A. Bridge Bam. Could be Sparky. Goes for a Queen. Gonna go Expo. And this is risky because I don't know what he has. But let's find out. Goes for a Prince. So um, I guess it could be like Golem maybe. Golem with Archer Queen. That would kind of suck actually. But let's see. Gonna go Ice Spirit to freeze the prince and hopefully it doesn't get another stab okay it doesn't very good gonna log this queen and he goes for a minor and okay it's gonna be minor wall breakers with queen i guess that makes more sense and my knight uh was kind of a misplay i should have played it on the minor but at the same time i didn't think he would just let the queen die so i don't know uh but minor wall breakers with queen i actually don't really like this matchup because he's gonna have mega knight as well and i really dislike uh well i guess minions does is better than bats considering if we, if he had bats i would love to have electro spirit uh, so there are ups and downs just gonna go for a pre tesla i think i don't really want to cycle anything else and he's gonna have to play into this so he goes for arrows yeah he's gonna have arrows as well gonna be pretty tricky mashup for sure he will have the mega knight as well um he's not playing anything he's so gonna go for an expo as he goes for prince in the back really lucky timing for me um although on the other hand it's gonna be very tricky defense now he's gonna go mega knight in front of the prince and this is going to be hard to defend. So let's see what we can do. Uh, going to let the Mega Knight jump, then go for Knight and Archers like this. And I'm, I think I'm going to have to kite into the middle with my Ice Spirit there. Okay, thankfully um, the Mega Knight didn't kill my Ice Spirit or I would have lost on the spot. But very clean defense, very uh, happy I was able to defend that. Because when they ignore your expo, it means you get a lot of damage, but it also means you have to defend a very tricky push. So, I'm gonna just fireball the minions and the miner. Wait for the minions to get a bit closer. I missed one minion, unfortunately, but it's fine. I take a bit of damage, and that's okay. I'm gonna expo now. I don't think he has enough uh, for a Mega Knight. Yeah, if he had enough and he was like equal in Elixir, he would have played it higher. So, he's playing it low. I'm gonna go skeletons to predict the Archer Queen as we get it. Nice. I'm gonna log it back. Um, an expo is on tower again, like I was saying in the last match. Uh, when queen is on your expo, it can be annoying, but also it can be a blessing in disguise. Because if they pop the ability at the wrong time, it won't be well uh, for them. You'll get an expo on the tower. And so my opponent's going for a minion, same lane. Just gonna go Ice Spirit, and I'm actually gonna have to fireball, because I, I just remembered he had uh, arrows in this deck. So my archers were not safe. I'm gonna go for a knight now. And he's getting very desperate with the minions, but we're just going to go Archers, um, Ice Spirit, and Tesla. I mean, there's five seconds left. I don't know why I'm still trying to defend. Game's been pretty much over. Good game. And I guess I'll give him some emotes because I played it pretty decently, I guess, but I'm not really BMing him. Just a uh, nice match, and that's going to be the 12 win. So, 12 win classic challenge uh, on my birthday. Again, like, it doesn't. It feels a bit weird, like I really enjoy celebrating my birthday uh, with my family and friends, but talking about it a lot f gets to feel a bit weird, I don't know if it's just me, but uh, like when people sing happy birthday, uh, it's really nice, but at the same time not really sure like what to do other than just smile, I guess, and be happy and grateful, but that's going to be the 12 win, um, very nice, I'm pretty glad I was able to beat all these matchups, especially so much earthquake 
a bit ridiculous that I was getting so much Earthquake, I guess. And this is a pretty hard matchup as well, because they have the Arrows, they have the Prince, they have the Archer Queen, of course, they have the Mega Knight. Um, but this is one of the few matchups where Ice Spirit is better. So today I got kind of lucky, I guess, with my Ice Spirit matchups, because if I played against, like, uh, Skeleton King Graveyard decks, would have been a lot more difficult, because you want Electric Spirit as another reset, and... Uh, other kind of swarmy or bait decks, Electro Spirit's better, uh, or just Graveyard, I guess, but I didn't really get any of that I got, and I didn't get Bats either. Electro Spirit's better against pretty much any Bats deck or Golem Night Witch deck, but I got this version with Minions instead. Royal Hogs, I guess it's equal, not sure which one's better. This one, I, I honestly think Ice Spirit's better against Lava, um, just because Electro Spirit doesn't plus tower doesn't one-shot lava pups so even though the e-spirit will uh chain onto all six pups it won't actually let your tower one-shot them so i don't know it's a bit of a trade-off and ice spirit's better against balloon as well for freezing it for longer um and yeah this was just a very funny match so that's going to be a nice 12 win though not sure how many 12 wins i have not sure why giant sparky's on my profile i guess i just had it selected um but, yeah, it's a nice 12, but not sure how many I have. I guess, like, 170 or so at this point. Um, but, yeah, just classic challenge video just for fun. You know, taking things slow and having a laid-back video, but still having a... Wanted to upload a video for you guys. Uh, I finally finished uploading my ladder videos from last season. Yesterday, I uploaded my 8K video and edited it a little bit. Um, I do still have some bonus content as well, like... I'll probably upload those, even though you guys might not enjoy it that much, because it's just going to be some raw gameplay. And I'll probably upload my losses as well, which a lot of people might not want, but a lot of people say uh, that they do enjoy losses sometimes, and a lot of people also say like that you don't upload any of your losses, when that's not true at all. I do upload losses quite a bit. Um, I usually upload them if they're educational or uh, whatever. I don't... like. I feel like if I just lose a hard counter and I played bad as well. I don't really feel like it's worthy of being included, but if it's like a global tournament video and I'm going to 20 wins and I lose on the way, then I might as well keep it in like I did that in my last global tourney video. Uh, so yeah, I don't know, but that's gonna be the video. I talked about a lot of random things, so hope you guys enjoyed. Apologies for the being all over the place, but again, thank you all so much for being a part of my life, for like helping me uh, create content, and thank you to all of you who watch. Hope you enjoyed the classic challenge video as well. Beat some pretty difficult matchups, and just got a nice 12 and 0. So very nice. I actually forgot to screenshot the 12 and screen, but I guess 12 and chest will do. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna be be the video, guys. Rapid gold challenge coming up. So I guess triple elixir gold. Okay, that'll be interesting. Um, I wonder when the global tourney's coming. I feel like the second one should have come by now, because there's like seven days left in the season. Yeah, six days left. I will probably push ladder later this week. Of course, today and yesterday I was busy with celebrations, so I didn't feel like just tryharding ladder. And, like, classic challenges are just okay, but I'll probably play some ladder. I just got to 7k with Hog Earthquake. Um, but, yeah, that's going to be vid be the video, guys. I am pretty tired, if you, can t if you couldn't tell. Uh, honestly, like, sometimes if you just lay in bed and, like, chill out, you feel more tired than like, getting up and doing things, at least for me, even though it's just, like, relaxing to just not do anything, I feel like it makes you more psychologically tired, I don't know, kind of weird, but I don't know, like, that's the case with me, at least, but, yeah, that's gonna be, be the video, guys, hope you enjoyed watching, thank you very much, uh, for watching, hope you have a nice day, let me know what kind of content you'd like to see, um, obviously I don't have any plans to stop uploading anytime soon, don't know why I still have this deck up, uh, Oh, and I made this deck as a snipe deck for Royal Hogs Earthquake. I was playing some competitive matches the other day, and uh, whenever I predicted Royal Hogs Earthquake, um, I played this deck. I also They also banned Tesla against me, but I just replaced it with Delivery, and I won pretty straightforward. So, yeah, that was funny, uh, but I wouldn't recommend this deck unless you're only playing that deck, the Royal Hogs deck, uh, the Cursed Earthquake Royal Hogs deck. But, yeah... Uh, let me know what kind of content you guys enjoy. I do still have a lot of videos in the works. I always say this, but um, I guess like it's a bit hard to be very organized. Uh, but yeah, I still want to push mid ladder. I'll probably do my final push to mid ladder, like 5.2k. Then I'll probably start working on my mid ladder guide this week, um, and I will probably also 
uh, try and do some global tournament content every time global tourney comes out. But let me know what other kind of content you guys would like to see. If it's ladder or classic challenges, I will also continue the road to 100 classic challenges eventually. It's been quite a while, but I will. And uh, yeah, I'm also going to go for 100 grand challenges at some point. I'm at like 68 right now. But yeah, thank you very much for being a part uh, of my life. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day. Take care. And I will see you in the next one.